guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X-Live, where today I'm going to build the most elaborate horse race course that Minecraft has ever seen, and I'm going to force my friends to compete for the coveted Horse Girl of the Year award. But first, let's take a moment to admire the fact that I'm still in the Six Heart Club, which puts us at nine hours with these glorious purple beauties. So I have picked out a nice big area behind my panda sanctuary. So I'm gonna start out by building this checkerboard starting line. And I've also created this mechanical barrier, which I can use to start the race. So let's fence everything off so that people know where they should not go. And we're gonna start this first stretch of the course with some obstacles. So we've got some hedges that they can try to swerve around or jump over. Then we've got some pitfalls. And here we've got a huge trench that they can try to jump over. Now by this point, hopefully they will have separated out a little bit so I can start to make the cars a little skinnier and we can start doing some twists and turns. So now that we are around the corner a little bit and people can't see what's coming, it's time to make things weird. I don't know if this is possible, but we're taking the race underground. Can horses jump on slime? I sure hope they can. Well, I guess we'll find out. So, moment of truth. Let's go. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. We're alive. Now, when they finish bouncing, they can proceed. And this next part is called the mines. And this is gonna have some unique obstacles of its own. The kind of things that you might find in an actual mine, like overhead beams, cobwebs, some precarious holes in the ground, maybe some cobwebs just to be extra annoying a disgusting wall of spider webs, followed by a dangerous ledge. So they'll have to try and avoid this and instead go this way. And now around here, the obstacles start to get increasingly more dangerous. We're gonna have some lava pools. This might be a little crazy, but this will really test their horse riding skills. Now we have to get back to the surface somehow. And I think it would be fun to make them go on a little water elevator with their horses. Now let's test this baby out. Here goes nothing. Uh-oh. <gasps> okay, it's a little hazardous, but otherwise pretty safe. So now that they have popped up in the middle of the swamp, we're gonna have to get them to cross the swamp to get over there. So in here we need to build a land bridge. And the torturous thing about this, of course, is that if they fall off the land bridge, their horse will start to sink and it will be much slower to get to the end. And now that they've made it to the swamp, I'm gonna make them do some rainbow hurdles. So here I'm gonna put a bunch of hurdles in fabulous rainbow colors. And we need to make sure that they're at least one block high. So I'm making them one and a half blocks. Maybe I'll throw in a two block jump as well. And now the jumps are going a little bit spicier. In fact, I think I might even put one here with a hole behind it. <laughs> Okay, now we'll just decorate this rainbow hurdles area with some rainbow flowers, of course. Gotta have this place looking cute to hide the deadliness. Adorable. Now we have this long straight right here, and this is just gonna test their raw speed before we get back into the shenanigans. So the next section I'm building is inspired by Monsters, Inc. I'm gonna have these doorways, and now I'm going to add a carefully designed image of some doors from Monsters Inc. So now they will have to choose a path and all of them will be blocked except for one, which is the correct one. So now we need a few more of these, like so. And we need to block off the wrong doors. And there is actually a pattern to this. The correct doors all look like Monsters Inc. characters. So this is Boo's door. This one is Sully's door. Over here is Mike Wazowski's door. And the final door is this purple scaly door, which is meant to represent Randall. So if the racers know their Disney trivia, this should be a breeze for them. Now we just need to decorate this area a little bit and I thought it'd be cute to use these pastel saplings. Oh, now this is looking so cute, but the final finishing touch is some hanging vines. And I wanna make them kind of hang down onto the course just to create a little confusion. Hopefully this will make it a little more difficult for them to figure out which door to go through next. And also it looks so cute. So now let's turn the track around and start heading back towards the start line again. And this part is gonna be fast. So here we've got a little twisty turny bit right here along the water side. And now we're going into the ice bridge. I did some testing and ice doesn't really affect horses, but they don't know that. 
So we're going to take the ice bridge up above the water and all they have to do is stay on the bridge. So to make this a little bit harder, I'm going to put some obstacles in their way just so they don't speed along. This might slow them down a little bit, maybe even cause them to careen out of control and fall off the bridge. Now let's just decorate this with some beautiful blue trees and these cyan flowers. Now on the other side of the bridge, we're going to start the track again, but this time I'm going to make it split. So they have two choices of which way to go. And if you look at it from above, it looks like the left path is longer. However, I have made some adjustments to the course. While this side looks overgrown and potentially dangerous, it's actually very safe. Whereas this route is actually full of pitfalls, which they will have to jump over. Then after this section, we have a ride through a beautiful autumn forest. No traps here, surprisingly. And then the final stretch snakes through here and up to the finish line. And the first person to cross is the winner. Before we invite everyone over here and get the race started, I have a few predictions to make. A little X-Life bingo game, if you will. So here is my bingo card and here are my options. Ollie makes a rare appearance on the server. CPK has to borrow a horse. Joel competes on a donkey. Fwip wins. A horse dies. Scott sings about his horse. Jimmy drowns, somebody cheats, a player dies. So after the race, we'll check back and see if any of these happened. But now it's time to invite all my friends. So I got a bunch of people online, look at the tab menu, all rainbow and colorful. Let's get them over to the race course. Welcome to the race, the horse race that you will all be partaking in. Ooh, you will hey. be competing for the Horse Girl Award. This is kind of awkward because you are all boys. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> Why does that have like boys and your horse girl? Yeah. Are you allowed oh, yeah. to hit other people's horses? No, okay. No interfering with other contestants. No flight rings, no rugs, no Elytra, no flying. Basically, you have to stay on your horse. The only time you're allowed off your horse is if your horse meets an unfortunate end for some mysterious reason that I cannot foresee. Or if your horse falls off the track, you can lasso it and put it back on the track where you fell off. What are the rules of lassoing our opponent's horses? You cannot do that. Obviously, that falls under rule one. Do not interfere with the other opponents, Ollie. I forgot the first rule immediately, pretty much. Uh, One thing I forgot to mention is that whoever has my favorite horse gets a slight head start. Oh. So everybody mount please mount up and I will make my choice. Oh my horse oh looks so oh, That's not a horse. horse. That's not a horse. Undoubtedly, my favorite horse has to be Fwip's Bouflon. So Fwip, you <laughs> in fact get a slight head start. If you'd like to go just ahead of the starting point here. Get in here. On your marks. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's an unclear lead at first. Wait a second. Ollie's taken a storming lead. Nobody saw this coming. He's got the horse with the legs. I mean, they all have legs, but his particularly. Oh my gosh, they're going underground. But will they all make it? We have a few stragglers back here. <laughs> Whip and Jimmy really struggling still at the start here. This is embarrassing. Let's see who is the first to emerge from the underground section. It's CPK and off he goes, snaking across the path. Wow! And he's on to the rainbow section. The rainbow hurdles. Look at him go! Wait a second! This looks a little cheaty, but I'm gonna allow it! Okay, CPK has a clear lead. And he's on the straight. Storming ahead of the others. But can he figure out the doors? Oh, he's got it. There he goes. And he's off onto the home stretch. And nobody else is even close behind him. Except for Ollie. Fwip has now changed from his bouflon to a regular horse and somehow overtaken the pack. Looks like everyone's really struggling on the rainbow hurdles here. Somehow, Joey and Scott have fallen into last place. CPK is actually taking the course backwards now. He's just flexing on it, the other horses. With no sign of competition in sight. Here we have Ollie crossing the ice bridge. 
Which way will he go? He's taking the left route. Is CPK about to finish? Is CPK about to finish the race? He's doing it backwards. And he's done it. He's done it backwards. That's CPK in first place. Orion Sound coming up in second place. He's fallen off his horse at the fi What is he doing? He hasn't taken his horse across the finish line. He hasn't technically finished the race. Okay, he's technically finished the race now. Where is everyone else? Oh, Scott has taken a storming lead ahead of the pack in third place with his reindeer, followed by Fwip. It's going to be a close one. There he goes across the finish line, followed by Fwip. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, no! Who could have seen this coming? Joel overtaking Fwip at the last second as he tries to mount his bouflon for the finish line. <laughs> where is everybody else? Where are the rest of our wacky racers? Seriously, where are they? Joey is still on the ice bridge. I believe he's the last one. No, wait. Jimmy! Jimmy is nowhere to be seen. Where is he? Oh, my gosh. His horse is really slow. Wow, I'm so sorry, Jimmy. This must be terrible for you. But look at him go. Navigating the ice bridge like a pro. Where's Joey? Did Joey finish? Oh, there he goes, Joey across the finish line. And here comes Jimmy. Slowly. Two hours later. <laughs> here he comes. He's still finishing the race. It's Jimmy in last place. Yay! Well done, Jimmy. That's my boy. Thank, thank you, guys. Lame. He's got to go. Did He's you see lame. that performance? <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Well, the winner of the one and only horse race is CPK. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. You win the Horse Girl oh. Award. I need to build a new house. Oh! Hey! Oh my gosh, Joel! Oh, lovely horse nearly died in that. <laughs> I seen lovely horse burning. Who <laughs> lassoes one me? Get me out of your lasso. Oh, no. Get me out of your lasso what now. <laughs> Joel and do lasso lucky. I've got you Get now. Get me out of your lasso. If you kill me, Lizzie. Burn him off. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. it's okay. You're there. You're fine. Well, well, well. It looks like some of my predictions were wrong, but some of them were right. Ollie did in fact show up. CPK had to borrow a horse. I'm 99% certain that there was a little cheating going on somewhere. And a horse died in the underground mine section. Which means I got bingo. And that's it for this episode of X-Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video and I will see you next time.